Hey, this is Kenneth, and I just wanted to show you guys the working prototype for the Model 1 serial couple board. So what it does is it takes a, in this case, a standard K-type thermocouple, although a little mod one, mod one part replacement you can put in any almost any uh, junction thermocouple you want. It comes down to a Maxim 31855 analog to digital converter, which is specifically designed for thermocouples. It then goes to an AVR at Tiny2313, so this is a little microcontroller with about 2 kilobytes of flash and 128 bytes of RAM on it, which is real small, but really all you need, because all I'm having it do is read the analog to digital converter and then uh, have it output the reading on a serial port. This is just a TTL serial port, standard 6 pins that FTDI came up with. And so you just plug that into a US, uh, USB to serial adapter, and then once a second it sits here and the LED blinks, and it outputs on the serial port on my computer the current temperature reading off of the thermocouple. Uh, this, this project is kind of exciting because it's the first project that I really have gone all the way from ideation to PCB design, and then my, this is my first prototype. So I had the PCBs done by Dorkbot through James Neal, uh, which you can probably figure out by the fairly distinctive purple silk screen that he does, the solder mask. Um, but it took about four tries to get the board right as I kept, kept getting minor things wrong. Uh, this board's pretty neat in that in, I have it populated with screw terminals here, but you can also do it with miniature uh, thermocouple jacks, as this is from Omega. Uh, this is another copy of the board here. Uh, I've been having some noise problems with it. Is the power uh, 5 volts coming out of USB is actually surprisingly noisy. Because I've got about uh, 200 millivolts of noise on the rail, which is ch changes, it makes it read the temperature significantly lower than you expect. Uh, this, this this board is also, so this is the Model 1 board. I also have a Model 2 board. Is This is about the exact same thing, except that it has a uh, RS-232 transceiver on it. So this is a DE9 connector. has a Maxim 3222 RS-232 transceiver. And then it's the same at Tiny and Maxim chip on it. Uh, so this, this is just, it's kind of a legacy version of the exact same thing. But I thought you, you guys would think that's pretty cool. Uh, it's it's not quite ready for production yet. There's still some more bugs, but at some point I will be selling these. And so if you're interested in buying a couple of these or one of these to just interface, uh, I've I've got some interest from people that want to want to use it in uh, like engine exhaust monitoring and barbecuing. Another neat kind of neat little feature about it is it plugs real nice into a breadboard. Since it's the male six pin serial, you can just plug it into a breadboard and then jumper wire from it to whatever project you're doing. It interfaces with the Arduino fine. Um, so yeah, it's it's a neat little board. To give you an idea of what the serial couple looks like on the computer side, we just have a putty window open here watching the serial port and it's currently decoding the thermocouple temperature, so you see it's about 19 or 20 degrees Celsius, which is a little off right now because there's still some bugs I'm working on. And then here is the 4 byte hex dump of what exactly what the Maxim 31855 is saying. You can read the data sheet, but essentially it's 2 bytes of the thermocouple temperature, 3 nibbles of the ambient temperature because thermocouples are a relative measurement, is they tell you how much hotter one end is than the other. And then the last nibble is the error code. And so if I were to unplug the thermocouple right here, you would see that it would go into an error state. So now it's saying error because the thermocouple is, uh, op is disconnected, which is error code 1. Error code 2 and 4 is it also checks for the thermocouple being shorted to ground or to VCC, which would start giving you wrong numbers. But, so I thought, it'd be, I thought this was pretty cool so far, and so uh, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments.